and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing a renovation of one of the base houses in um, in Oasis Springs. It is called the Vista Quarry. Today I am renovating it to my own personal liking and style. This does not mean by any means that the build is bad or ugly whatsoever. Um, so renovating it is all fun and games. And I decided that that would be too easy. So I wanted to also challenge myself to stick to one color scheme and that color would have been blue because in my last three videos, I have heard myself time and time again that I choose to make an object blue because there are a lot of objects that are blue in The Sims. So I was like, okay, is that really true? I always say that and I wanted to really prove that it is true by making this build primarily blue or attempting to do so. So this was something that I thought of later on during the build and not something that I thought of initially when I started doing it. So you're going to start me start you're going to see me start making the build without really following that, but you'll see me towards the end really start to prioritize making things blue. So right now I'm just deleting the walls and such that I don't need and I deleted all the furniture inside just so that I wouldn't have any prior influences of how the layout I wanted it to be. And um and I just lit this place up and I was going to make the floor blue at first. And this was actually before I even thought about the idea, <laughs> which is really funny. So, but then I decided against it. And um, in the end, I didn't make the floor blue. So that technically didn't go with the challenge. So I hope that in the future or the next time I try to do something similar, that I'll actually like think about it before I actually do it because here I was just planning on renovating it and later on I decided to do the all blue challenge. So hopefully the next time I do this, I'll prioritize doing the color part of it first. So I already start off with the blue stuff and with the doors and this isn't when I, I'll tell you, this is when I start thinking about blue. When I put the blue fireplace, I was like, oh, I can make this whole build blue themed. And so then I started grabbing all these blue couches and I was just like, okay, this is going to be fun, uh, like a fun activity. But I also wanted it to match the floor that I had already placed down. So here I am just scrolling through all the couches and I don't know why. Oh, I think my dad asked me <laughs> to feed the dog at this point. I forgot to clip this out. Um, sorry about that. I was placing all the different couch colors and I was trying to see or all the different shades of couches that are blue and I wanted to see which one I like best. I opted up for that one that you see here just because I thought it was a more vivid blue. I was going to go with the tiny, li tiny living blue couch, but I feel like I always put that tiny living couch everywhere and I wanted to switch things up a bit because that's the whole point of this challenge to try to extend out of my comfort zone and see if there are really that many objects that are blue and there are. And so I ended up taking some of the stuff from uh, um, the school, go to discover university is where these the couch it may, the main couch is from. Oh my gosh, I am stuttering, and and then I changed the uh, the floors to be this light pale um, tan color for the floorboards, and then I changed the couch to that one just because it matched the single armchairs. I feel like the armchairs looked better than the um, the two seater couches. I don't know why. I think I, oh I originally was trying to make it that roomier so that you would be able to walk your sims would be able to walk through them so that they could access the doors and then i kind of forgot about it i guess so i just kept them the same now here i'm trying to figure out the floor, floor plan of where i want things to be and how i want them to be that way and whatnot so i already established that this little nook right there is going to be the kitchen and the dining area so i was <laughs> already preparing of what I wanted to do table wise and I know I wanted to use the high table I love the high table from the tiny living if I could use it in every build I definitely would have used it in every build and I put some cute little stools next to it this is from base game so you you could use those stools as well and then I took the those countertops that um I, don't, I always call them comic book countertops and I don't know why I do so I don't I like I can't tell you why I named it that and of course there's me picking the most expensive appliances and then switching to the cheapest one and then seeing that I can have a stove that was blue from one of the more expensive ones and then switching to the most expensive fridge <laughs> so that I could have the blue and um, so I could keep the theme and then I saw the cheapest sink is blue 
and then dishwasher blue. And I like how the thing I like about this build is that all the blues are different shades here. And honestly, I was scared that it might look horrendous, but it actually looked really cool. I like the way it was like different shades popping up here and there blue. So it wasn't so like monotone. So here I am and continuing this floor plan. This was um, meant to be a uh, study at first, that little corner room or that weirdly shaped room. It was meant to be a study and then the room next to it was going to be a bath. It still stays as a bath, but the um, corner room there doesn't do that. And then here I divide up this so that they're even Steven rooms and um, the one on the right side or up front is going to be the master and then the one in the back is going to be for the kids or whatnot. So here I am trying to line the window so it looks nice. And I deleted those pillars because I didn't really like the way they looked. I was because everything in, in the interior seems a little modern and I didn't think that the pillars demonstrated that. And then I decided that I wanted to put like a cute little fountain in front of the house. I thought it was really cute because once again, this is an Oasis Springs, which is technically a desert area, even though you see the house lot is like on dirt. I thought it would look really cute. As like a little spring thing and I put a fountain like a waterfall because I've been wanting like I've been wanting to do like one of those cascade fountains where you have the highest level fountain flows down to the medium level fountain and then so on and so forth I don't know if I'm able to do that in the sims without actually like import because I know there's a fountain that you actually could put there but it's an object I want to see if I could actually make it with the fountain stuff but that's going to be a lot of trial and error and I could make a video about it but like I don't want to make a video in it not be successful you know or like not not the video not be successful but like my attempts not being successful so here i'm starting in the master bedroom and i found a painting and i wanted to put in the living room and then um i'm finding blue paintings here and there so it's like okay i'm gonna put them so i already have i took the wardrobe that matched the nightstands i used that um I don't know, that divider? I forgot what those are called. The dividers, it's a turquoise color. I used it in my um, budget challenge home video. So if you want to watch that video, it's going to be linked. <laughs> and then I'm trying to figure out what lights I wanted. And I didn't realize that one could change colors. So that was a nice surprise. And I really liked the way it looked. I think I'm going to use that more often now that I see that it could change colors. And then I put a blue clock and then voila, everything's blue themed. I throw a rug and uh, the room is pretty much finished after I finish putting these curtains. And then uh, that was it. Oh, I had, oh, I changed the color of the room. Okay. So I changed the wallpaper paint the, yeah, I changed the wallpaper from the one that I had in the living room, which I'm glad I did that because I don't want it to be too consistent. So here's me trying to figure out a bed to use here. And I end up going for this one and change it out later because I realized that I can't find any wood that actually matches it. So I was like, okay. And I found this wardrobe. So I was like, okay, let's try to match the bed to this wardrobe. And I did manage to. So I was like, okay, this is meant to be. I put a little mirror on the corner there. And then I decide I wanted a toddler's bed right here. But then I was like, wait, three kids in a room? That's like a little much. So I ended up moving it to where the office was going to be. And I was debating going back and forth. And I was like, yeah, you know what, YOLO. And then I end up doing this weird thing right here. And I was kind of messing around trying to see what I could do because I was trying to make it a bathroom. But then I realized I don't have a study. So I was like, I'm going to try to put a, fit a study here. But I was like, how am I going to do that? Because I don't want to have them intersect with the bedroom. So I just make an archway right here and there's gonna be a mini study room right there before you go to the bedroom. I thought that was cute. I don't know, it's something I typically, I don't, you don't regular see every, see, oh my God, it's not a basic thing you see every day. So I was kind of like happy with how it turned out. And then I used this cute wall, like a paint thing, which I really like, cause you could see like the brush strokes on it. And I, I think that was really cool. So I might use that wallpaper again. I have to double check what colors it comes in because I really liked it. And then I add a little mini tiny desk so that they can do their homework on it. And then I add some cute like aesthetically pleasing things for light and for books. And I just move the mirror over and I put a poster. But then I realized that that's a, like a limited edition poster or like one of the posters that you have to unlock. So I got rid of it. And I was like, okay, I'll just put that. But then I couldn't fit anywhere. So I just was going here and there trying to fit, find blue things to put. And I ended up just putting that one and moving on after I finished putting the rug. And I keep forgetting about the rugs. <laughs> I keep forgetting about that. And I found this cool like techie thing, which I thought looked cool. And then now I'm working on the little the little nook with the study 
and I wanted to fit a, a, a bookshelf there, but I couldn't, so then I used the single bookshelf. This one isn't blue, and I felt bad for having to cheat with that, but that was the only single bookshelf I, like, I could find, or that I saw at the moment. And then, then I started putting the desk there, which are blue, and I tried to find a laptop here. I, you see me filtering through all of them. I couldn't find any of them that were blue or had a blue keyboard. They had pink keyboards, green keyboards, yellow keyboards, but no blue. Then I put this cute little painting, which I really like. I really like the new the paintings that, were in, that are in like City Living. And by the way, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but there's a free trial for City Living. I saw it today when I was on The Sims. So um, today is the May the 2nd. So if you're seeing this like a year later, I don't know if it's probably not going to be a free trial, but... If you're seeing this around the time, it might still be on free trial, so just go check it out. Um, now I'm doing the bathroom theme blue as well. There's the sink. I was going to put two sinks. I was like, wait, waste a room. No, don't do it. And then I remembered I don't have a laundry room. And you guys know how I feel about laundry rooms. I love, love, love them because I love the laundry expansion pack. So, you know, I had to put it. So I ended up putting the sink right there. And it was a single sink with a mirror. But who cares? Who cares? It's just the whole family sharing that one. Who cares? Just just go for it. <laughs> and so then I ended up doing this little room here. It's a mini room because I wanted to separate the toilet from all the rest. I feel like that's a cute thing that is a real life. That's a, I think that was a cute add-on that people do in real life. I know in European countries, they like to separate the toilet from the rest of the shower room. So I wanted to do that too. And um now I'm adding the laundry thing, and I wanted to do a mix match with the washer and dryer because I thought that was cute, two different shades of blue. Then I added a blue carpet for in front of the dryer and then one in front of the shower. I tried to put one in the bath or where the toilet was. Didn't work. Now I'm moving on to the toddler's room. I'm not really good with decorating toddler's rooms just because I do this cheat called aging up your sims because I don't like to deal with them when they're children. Honestly, the, like I will literally just hire a nanny like, I'll save plenty of money up if I know I'm going to have a child and I, like, refuse to buy anything and I just use it to pay for a nanny when I, if I have a child. But that's if I feel like doing that. Usually, I just age up the sim until they're a teenager or a child. Or, yeah. And they could be in, like, a regular bed. But this one's a toddler bed, so I was like, nah. <laughs> I guess I could have made a child's room, but I already had the, um, I already made the room, that room on the side, which is technically a teen's room, so that was going to be a no-go. Then I changed the siding so that it's blue, and this one was the light blue, and I forgot to change the pillars on the side, so thank god I saw that, because I wouldn't have noticed, and that would have been uneven. And then I was like, okay, the roofing was ugly, that was the first thing that stuck up to me when I got the first build, and I know I said that it doesn't make it ugly, but I just don't like pitch black roofs, so I ended up making it blue to fit the theme and now I'm working on the back patio which I think is really cool I didn't know you could raise it up like found with foundation like that so I'm definitely going to use that in my future builds which I'm glad that I like kind of expanded like my knowledge because I never really built an oasis springs so I'm glad I did that because I it seems that most houses in oasis springs do that I fix the landscaping right here because I delete the patio I add more plants and stuff add the dirt move things around add more plants I already said that becoming repetitive and then there we go i fixed the stuff i moved a tree up front and that's the build hope you guys enjoy this is the finished result go check it out on my gallery at a little dove 22 thanks for watching